Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you guys my craft room slash workspace. I make wood signs, vinyl decals, and personalized gifts, and this is pretty much where I work most of the time. This room is a little area off my living room, so I don't have a whole lot of room to work with, but I've made it work for several years now. And we are actually in the process of building a new house, and I will have an actual craft room there, so I'm really excited about that. And um, yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys how I organize my craft room. So right here we have my desk. I have um, a pegboard on the top that my husband and I actually built. And it's been probably the best thing that I've built for myself um, for my office. Because I have a way to organize all the things I use on a daily basis. And I'm not losing everything constantly like I was before. And it's nice to just have everything set out right in front of you. So right over here, I have my scissors and my screwdriver and my nail cutters and my hammer, measuring tape. And in this little bucket down here, I keep kind of just pencils and pens and highlighters. And right here, I have my most used paints for my wood signs, crafts. And here are my foam brushes and detail brushes. And up here, I have my regular just Fiskars rolling cutter for vinyl or whatever. And here I have a clear ruler. And if you guys don't have one of these, you need one because you can use it for so many different things and it helps keep things straight. And it's just, it's been one of the best things I have. So, and right here I have jute twine, which I use a lot of and some tape. And right here I have my glue gun with some glue and a sanding block. And over in this bucket right here, I keep my vinyl picks along with my squeegees, which are the blue things. And, and yeah, that's what I keep on my pegboard. And then down here on my desk, I have my planner, which I actually never really used planners before. I would buy them, but I would never use them. But this year, I've been using it a lot, and it's been really helpful to keep my things organized. And right here, I have my sad little laptop which is broken right here I don't know how it broke but I guess it was from opening it and closing it so much but it still works just fine so it's fine for now but it just looks kind of sad with the little tape sitting there <laughs> and then underneath my desk I have my heat press so I keep my heat press on top of this really sturdy wicker basket and inside of the wicker basket I just keep some extra sewing supplies and stuff like that um, I don't really sew as often so it kind of is fine to keep in there and whenever I want to use it, I just roll it out and use it. And then when I'm done with it, I just put it right back under. I didn't really have anywhere else in this space to keep my heat press. So it ended up working out just fine. It just fits right under there nicely. So over here, I have this little metal rolling cart that I got off Amazon. I can link it down below if you guys are interested. But this thing has been really amazing to be able to organize my vinyl scraps with. The drawers are the perfect size for like a 12 by 12 sheet. So if you just use a little bit of vinyl, it's great for that. And it's also good for if you have a lot of vinyl and you need a place for your scraps. So I kind of organize them by color. So And I'll keep them inside of these little Ziploc bags and put different color scraps. So on the top drawer, I'll keep white, black, browns, grays. So like neutral colors. Second drawer, I keep my pink and my purple. And then this one, I use my red and maroon and yellow and orange. Blue. Here's my greens and my turquoise and mint. And this one I keep gold, silver, and copper. And then just like miscellaneous vinyl right there. This one is HTV. Here is my vinyl cutting mats, which are really dirty and I need to clean them. And here I just have like extra decals that I've made or ones that are in process right now. And then in here is just regular cords and stuff like that. Over in this corner of here, I keep my air compressor. So it's just like a little mini air compressor that I use for my wood signs. So nailing my wood signs together. So whenever I want to use it, I'll just take it out and then I'll just put it back in this corner when I'm done with it. So then we obviously have our fireplace right here. I try and decorate it for each season and stuff. So right now we're kind of in between where I'm about to decorate for spring. So I'll be putting that stuff up soon. So over in this little corner, I keep my photo paper, which is like when I'm done with a product, I'll take a picture of it and it's just like a kind of a white 
wood look. So I keep that rolled up over there. And then I have some brown paper that I use for my wood signs, packaging up the, the larger wood signs. And then down here, I have my Oracle 813, which is what I, or Aura Mask, I'm sorry, it's Aura Mask 813, and I use that for my stencil vinyl. So here is my, this metal cart thing that I have. Um, I use this to keep my vinyl cutters on. So up here we have my Silhouette Cameo 2, which is the first one that I ever got, and it still works just great. So I use this one right here. And then right here I have my Silhouette Cameo 3, and I also am going to be getting the 4 soon, so I'm excited about that. And here I have my Dymo Label Maker. This has been amazing. There's a lot of different label makers out there, but this is just the one that I got a couple of years ago, and it's worked really great. I actually had a problem with it, I think a year ago, and they completely replaced it for me and sent me a new one, so that was really nice. Um, and it does work really good. You never have to buy ink for it. Um, it just is a thermal printer, so it just you just have to buy the rolls for it. And it's been probably the, one of the best things I've ever bought for my business. It saved me so much time. Rather than just printing them out on paper and taping them, it just has a sticky back, and you're able to stick them on your packages. So that's really helpful and nice. And then underneath that, I have just my regular printer. It's just a cheap printer that I use for my invoices um, or just whatever I need to print out. Nothing fancy. So down here I have my Minwax polycrylic, some alcohol, Q-tips, some wood filler, and some Goo Bond. So just like some extra stuff right there. And in here I keep my tape gun with some extra tape. And then these bins down here, I keep a lot of extra woodworking stuff. So I have like some extra sandpaper, some orbital sandpaper, paint stirrers, some stuff for my air compressor right here. So my nail gun, I have some extra paint rollers and some sanding or some staining pads and some gloves. So that's what I keep in this bin. And this one right here, I keep just like different things that I make. So I have my like popsicle koozies and stuff in here that I sell and the mermaid popsicle koozies and just some random craft things that I use, I just keep in there and I'll put in their own bags so I can just kind of keep them organized in their own bags. So that's what I keep in there. And right here, I just have one of those regular old cube organizers. I can link it down below the one that I have. They have it in a lot of different colors, I think. Um, on the top, I have my paper cutter. So I use that for like cutting my invoices or things like that. And this also varies from season to season. So during winter, when I'm doing ornaments and stuff, I usually keep like a lot of my ornaments and stuff in here, but this is what I have for now. I have my spray paints for my mason jars right here. And the second one, I have my three hole punch and my laminator. And then these three, I just keep my vinyl rolls. So it's like the bigger rolls that I have instead of the scraps. I keep the rolls in here. And I used to organize them by color, but it never stays organized. So I've just given up on that. But I do put the rolls in there. And in this one, I keep my white and my black paint and the gallons. So white's back there and black's right here. So I use those for my wood signs. In here, I have some extra tumblers that I sell. So it's just the ones that are frequently sold. I just have a few of them right here. Down here, I just have extra camera stuff. And then in here, I keep my paint. So just like my acrylic paint, different colors. And then in the back, I have my glue. So that's what I keep in here. And then moving on to this, I have my old dresser that I had when I was a kid. Um, I was really unsure whether or not I wanted to move this in here, but it has been honestly one of the best things I could have used for in here because I was running out of space so quickly and I had no room for anything. And this is really wide and deep, so it has a lot of storage. So it definitely works for right now. So in the top pullout drawer, I have my sewing machines and my embroidery machine. And then over here, I just have some extra um, tissues for my mason jars sitting in there. In the first pull-out drawer, I just keep my business paperwork and receipts and things like that for taxes. 
second drawer, I keep a lot of my shipping supplies. So I have some of my mailers here and then cello bags for the, keeping the vinyl safe and shipment. Some inserts. And I think I have larger mailers on the bottom too for the bigger stuff. So that's what's in this drawer. In this drawer right here, I have all of the stuff I use for what I include inside of my decal orders. So just like card inserts and some alcohol wipes, some thank you stickers, fragile, and then just some extra Dymo, like the cleaner and things like that. So that's what I keep in here. In this other drawer, I keep my extra printer paper and some smaller paper for product photos for like decals and stuff like that. I keep them there. And then back here I have some scales and some extra ink for my printer. And in this bottom drawer, I have some kitchen towels that I'm gonna be doing something with soon. So I have those in here. And then when I was doing embroidery, I had gotten so many shirts. So these are just extra shirts back there in different sizes. And then in this, in this store right here, I keep a lot of my bigger items that don't really have a place. So these packing peanuts, I'm going to be making a video soon and I will show you guys in that video what I use these for and it's pretty interesting. So um, stay tuned for that. I have my bubble wrap in here and I get that from Sam's and just some extra packing stuff. And right here I have some extra tumblers that I sell. So some boxes of those and they go all the way back there. And then I have some extra little boxes. And I keep my big shipping boxes out in the garage and the boxes, I get those from USPS.com. So I keep those out in the garage. They would definitely not fit in here. <laughs> and over here I have my 12 by 24 mat and a small ironing board. And here's my transfer tape. So it's just a bunch of random stuff in there that just doesn't fit. I'll just keep it in here. And then down underneath, I have just some extra little things. I got my, a few ribbon in here with some scissors and some extra pencils and pens, things like that. Just miscellaneous stuff. And then I have my tool bag. So I just have some extra tools in here that I don't use as often. And I also keep my sawtooth hangers and stuff in here as well. So... All right, and then in this bag over here, I keep my drill and stuff like that. So I don't get it out as often, but it's kind of hard to get out, so I'll leave it under there. But that's what I keep in that bag. So yeah, it's nice to be able to tuck those things away and you don't really know what's back there. And then behind this, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I keep just some cardboard back here for if I'm shipping out a larger decal that needs to have a like a hard backing so it doesn't get bent in shipment. So I keep a bunch of stuff like that back here along with my cutting mats and stuff like that. So it's just tucked away and you can't even tell really it's back there. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot to mention that back behind this, I also keep my fold-out table. So it's just one of those regular fold-out tables that you can... Um, have just to work if you need an extra workspace. So if you have a small craft room, definitely getting one of those fold out tables is, is a really good thing to have because it, you know, it's good to minimize, maximize your space as well as you can. So that was it for my craft room tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got some inspiration for your craft spaces. Please like it if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.